Hello everyone, my name is Larsaf and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 and our Naples campaign. And this is episode 53. So in this episode we're going to pick up where we left off um, in Africa and immediately go to war with um, Shane, I think that's how you pronounce it, and uh, their vassal, Uyo. We're going to do that. Um, this is one of those times where I really wish that we, uh, where I really wish you could, you know, sort of pa have some pass control over to your, to somebody, <laughs> for your armies. I hate doing the sieges where you take, like, sieging down, or carpet sieging opponents is such a drag. Uh, regiment cost minus 10%, so does this reduce our cost? So it's currently 81, our army maintenance. Let's have a look. It does, so it's reduced it down to 73, which is lovely. I think I'm immediately just going to go and siege down their forts. Because that won't take very long. Oyo. I wonder if we can see... Um, no, we can't. Of course we can't. Why did I think we could? Um, I was going to see if we could piece out Oyo separately. Um, of course we can't, because that'd be silly. Um, right. Nobility want some land, and I will oblige. Uh, who wants nobility? There you go. You can have that. Nobility, you can have that. Who? Who? Wrong one. Nobility, you can have that. Where else gives a, at least a decent amount of manpower and ability? You happy now? Oh, not still not happy. Oh, ungrateful sods. How about now? You are just about happy. Right, clergy. Um, I'm looking for a place that gives lots of money. Uh, in the form of tax. So, clergy, that looks like a fine place to give you. Timbuktu. How much more do you want? 1%. What about this? How much does that give? Not a lot. Borno seems to, so give you Borno. There you go, you're happy again now. Miserable gits. Right, papacy, what do I want? Um, I wish there was a plus... Papal influence you could get. So I'm just going to get national tax modifier, I think. I get the feeling that they might have just given up. <laughs> uh, and the, the reason I'm getting said feeling is because they don't appear to be bothering to even move their army about. Wait, 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 wait. Why have France come? Ah, you sods. I, okay. So I haven't called France in. They are just going to war. Presumably. For their own benefits. So I'm immediately going to rush for the forts. Because those are the things that dictate what you can and cannot take. Essentially. Um, so I immediately want to go for where is their capital? Um, I, oh no, I, I'm such an idiot. I was going to try and select my army, but that was actually France's army. Who knew? Right, so I basically need to be the first person to rush their capital. 
So that's why I'm waiting here. This is indeed... No, that's not their capital. I've already got their capital. I'm not even sure anymore. I oh, know I do have their capital, so all is well in the world. Wow, I mean, for everyone apart from Jane. Interestingly, why of France... All right, so we have a much better uh, leader now. Lost one stability, but, you know, small price to pay, I guess. Um, I probably need... Do I need to get any royal marriages back? Royal marriage with the Mamluks. Ottomans. They're a plus one prestige. Do they have any rebels like support? I'd quite like to see the Ottomans explode, but I don't think they're going to. Just out of spite more than anything. Um, let's get... Crane, why not? Let's get one on Crane. I claim on Crane. So I'm intrigued as to why France are even bothering, quite frankly. Um, purely because, you know, like, what do they, why? Uh, like, no, like, genuinely, what do they have to gain? Because, like, they haven't, as from what I can see, got any actual provinces in this region. So, like, could they actually take anything anyway? Who knows? I guess we'll find out. Lovely. Right, so I think that leaves us. France... What a bunch of fools. France have pieced out. They got them to release some provinces belonging to Timbuktu. I don't understand the AI sometimes. Um, let's take down this fort. That was just confusing. I'd love to, for somebody to be able to explain that to me. Um, very confusing. Right, new technology I can invest in. Ooh, Diplotech. May agitate for liberty. We will take next Diplotech. I think this should actually put us at 100% now in this war. It Oh, I was going to say it does, but that was until these little sods took a province off us. From us, sorry. Okay, no, they've taken that. That's fine. Mamluks have got it back. Now it's 100% again. Did they... Maybe France took all their money. I don't know. I'm going to go all the way through to the coast here, because this just increases the amount of um, nations, I think, that I could just get... I could get claims on. Or go to war with. Sorry. But I think that seems that seems like a perfect, perfectly reasonable amount to take for the moment. I'm not going to make them release any nations because I don't see the point in that. Because all it'll do is give me a truce. Excuse me. Give me a truce with the nations I've released. So, don't see the point. Shane is asking for military access. Ah, oh, bless their little cottons. Uh, this guy. Doesn't have a thing, doesn't have a ruler. Right, so let's get back to making more cores. I almost feel like this, right? We need to focus on admin points just so we can gain enough to actually afford all of this. For the moment, we're, we don't, or well, we aren't. Um, again, I don't think we want these forts. 
So we will get rid of those. Ironically, their capital fort was actually the one that was the weakest. We will set all of these on autonomous rebel suppression. Because there will inevitably be some rebels. Lovely. The good thing is, is converting a lot of these provinces gives quite a large amount of, um, mis of uh, papal influence. Right, so clergy are anno annoyed because they want they want more, as always. Greedy sods. Clergy can have that. That pleased the clergy. It has nobility want something. Let's go back to our manpower tab. Find one that gives a small amount of manpower. Well, not necessarily small, just not crap. Nobility have already got that. Give this to nobility. There we go. There we go, that's pleased them. Hmm. France is hiring troops from people. Oh, wow. Um, who's going to war here? So, Habu have just gone to war with uh, to take the remainder of these provinces. A bit ballsy of them. Although Jane... Oh, well, the land maintenance modifier, this should reduce. So, it's 74% currently. That goes all the way down to 65. Lovely. Increases our income even more. Yeah, so... Kabu are actually being quite ballsy, taking all the stuff for themselves. Although if they do take this, that's fine by me, because it means because like technically I should have quite a long Bruce. 91, so yeah. Like quite a few, fair few years. Whereas if they take if Kabu take these provinces, I can obviously just go to war with Kabu. So I don't have to worry about no truce. I get the feeling that Mamluks are not going to finish this canal by the time the uh uh thing is over. <laughs> Just sort of saying. There we go. I can't actually see it in this list uh, on mine. It'd be handy if I could. Um, Built Spy Network. Oh, I'm down to zero because I forgot about it for so long. Sue me. Um, right. Improve relation. Now I'm going to pull my guy from the Commonwealth. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, oh, I was going to say, oh, no, I'll go to war and crush uh, Papal State finally, but they're allied with a few people I probably want to keep as my allies because I'm supposed to like them, I guess. Something like that, anyway. Right, unrest. Where's all this unrest coming from? I'm not sure why there's Neapolitan particularists. Biafada. Biafada is... Why a... Hmm. Why are Neapolitan particularists? Oh dear. Lose one stability. That is not good. We probably want to look at some way of... Um, we've already got a, minor, a national unrest guy. Is there any other way? So we... What about ideas? Is there any ideas? Uh, I think I'm pretty sure there is an idea. There is an idea here, isn't there? National unrest minus one, years of separatism minus five. Is it really so relevant now? I'm not so sure. Nah. As, um... I think it will just suppress revolts. Kabu are really going to town on Jane, though. Which, yeah, nay. I don't know. I, I'm making it up, quite frankly. <laughs> uh, one of my generals died. Poor guy. 
Um, I should probably move this army. Getting a bit of attrition. Not that there's really anywhere nearby. So I'm... What about here? Oh no, they can go down here on the coast. We'll not get attrition there. I've actually got quite a lot of manpower now. I'll tell you what. Let's... I mean, it probably won't happen. But let's see if we can even... Ah. I mean, looking at these, I'm thinking, like, no, there's no way. But I know there's a achievement for getting, like, over a million manpower. I can't think it's going to happen. But since when that... Since when is that a reason to not try? Wow. Don't know why I haven't done this sooner. Probably because I was too busy going to war. Oh, sod it. We'll just do all of them. Is there anyone else? A lot of these don't really give a lot, so... Ooh, there's one right there. I'm guessing... The biggest... Like, because I obviously get... Manpower... From... Prov uh, is it from provinces? Is that from my vassals? Is there a better breakdown here? Um, sorry, let's quickly do this before I forget. Is there a better breakdown of... Manpower in here? No, there isn't. What about subjects? Okay, so it doesn't actually say. Ah, well, we'll just keep building. Just keep building, just keep building. Um, yep, 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 yep. Oh, wrong button. This thing got an obscene amount of money. Just spend it, just keep throwing money. Throw money at the problem. In this situation, I believe it fixes it. <laughs> or at least goes some way towards doing so. What other ways are there increasing manpower? I'm not so sure there are many. We should probably just continue building, though. It'd be interesting to see how much money we can actually, you know, make. Dum -de dum -de dum Looking for promises that get, like, their centers of trade that give an obscene amount of trade power. That's what I want, but I'm not sure, too sure there are many of those. There are a few, but nothing that just sort of sticks out. Well, not many, sorry, that stick out. There we go. Right, so as you see, we conquer these places and then we, ex we build. We do massive building projects. Of course, you know. They may not have wanted the building projects, but, well, <laughs> we sort of, uh, I guess, forced it upon them. Um, we need to find Commonwealth of Late Claim to Denmark. You ballsy what's it's you. Um... Interesting. Come out of late claim to Denmark. I'm just looking at ways I can like screw with people at this point. I mean, I've got my, I'm going to improve relations with Denmark. See, see where that leads us. Lose 25 legitimacy or one stability. So, how much is the st what's the running cost of a stability at the moment? 160. Whereas legitimacy is that's 250 manpower essentially. Uh, 250. Military monarch power. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's going to be a stability, I think. Although, we'll just buy at least one stability back straight away. I'm going to improve relations with the Papal State. Um, reason being is because it will increase the amount of manpower we get. Right, the first rebels popped up, and they popped up right on one of my armies, which is bad news for them. 
Good news for me. Um, yeah, all these guys are on autonomous rebel suppression, which is good. Right, what I'm going to do is I will end the episode here. Um, and next episode, we... Well, we'll start, what's the time on our truce? 71. So we got a while until we go to war with Jane, but we can take the rest of them in one war. <laughs> what I'm actually going to do... Oh, okay, Kabu or Protector of France. That would be why they went to war. Interesting. Very interesting. But yeah, we'll be able to get a bit more of this. Um, I mean, if going to, trying to take Kabu will probably make France want to go with a war with us. So I don't know if that'll be such a great idea. Um, just as a cursory look, let's find out what France's military is like. So, I mean, we have significantly bigger military than they do, which probably isn't surprising. I mean, look. <laughs> uh, I mean, I know they have most of South America, but still. Um, right, so I really will end the episode here now, otherwise this will end up being really long. Um, but thank you very much for watching, and I will speak to you in the next episode. Take care.